Hi guys, it's Matty Ace, and today we're gonna have a barbecue, picking up the Flame Trooper. And the first thing that I'd like you to pay attention to is the lower right side corner, where you see the number of grenades. And it's very easy to forget this, but with most elite kits, you have multiple grenades. For the Flame Trooper, those grenades are the incendiary grenades, but regardless of what class you pick up, those grenades can be ever so important, especially since you have three of them, for the most part. Now check out the splash damage and the damage over time with the Vex. <laughs> what shit? <laughs> oh, you filmed through it. Yeah, there were so many of them. So now the obvious weaknesses of the Flame Trooper is the very limited range of the weapon, the primary weapon, and of course that you move around relatively slowly. Now another weakness that may not be as obvious is the fact that you can't actually destroy trip wires or even mines for that matter without taking damage. Now, you can probably use your melee weapon but yeah that's going to cost some severe, severe damage and uh, even though the mines might seem like that's not really your problem sometimes getting out past a choke point might actually require you to pass a trip wire. And in, uh, in the case of the other classes, you can just destroy it by shooting it or by throwing a nade or something. But you cannot do that with the Flame Trooper, and that is worth paying attention to. Now, all the Elite classes are a little bit thrown upon as non-skill based. But I think that if you want to use those terms, the Flame Trooper is probably the most non-skill based. Uh, even though this is a bit of a controversial way of describing things. You don't really need pinpoint accuracy, you don't really need that uh, pixel perfect aim with the Flame Trooper, and even if you do have it, it's not gonna benefit you that much as it might do with several other weapons and classes in this game. However, teamwork, situational awareness and positioning is very very important you do not want to be caught out in the open whenever you have to cover open spaces you want to be really, really careful about when and how and where you do this because this is your most vulnerable situation you are slower very easy target and there are many many areas of the map where you can be caught out in a situation where you simply can't counter your enemies because they are too far away now in these narrow spaces, especially in areas where you can kite behind cover back and forward, and even more so when you have your friendly medics nearby, those are the areas and the situations when the flame trooper shines. This also brings another important point in, and uh, it's also related to teamwork. If you see that your teammate has picked up the flame trooper kit, if you want to be a good teammate and you really want to help your squad and your team out, then spawning in as a medic on said flame trooper is actually going to help out not even him but also your squad and your team immensely because once your flame trooper is down to like 20 hp or whatever you are very very vulnerable and in this situation if one of these guys would have been a medic and healed me up here from my 20 hp i would easily have survived what happens next <laughs> Uh, welcome to the barbecue. So now another thing that I've been able to benefit from a little bit is that just before I pick up a uh, elite kit, if I am a medic or if I'm a support player, dropping your crate or your pouches might actually be very very helpful to you the moment you start taking damage or the moment you want to resupply those grenades that you might want to throw right away. Standing on an ammo crate while spamming those grenades can actually make you deal a lot of damage and you can cover a lot of ground with those incendiary grenades. Anyway, I hope you will enjoy the rest of the barbecue. Big thanks for watching and I hope I will see you guys in the next live stream. You are behind the tank. They're under. Coming back.
Get some mints. They have eight rockets. Yeah. They really want to get me. We're gonna keep spamming pouches. Yeah. We have taken objective Charlie. <laughs> Oh shit, the nade spam. It's raining nades. Behind. I'm burning man. Hallelujah. I'm burning people. Holy shit! <laughs> A flame trooper kit is available near Oh, flame trooper! Oh, that's what we were looking for. Some more uh, elite class kills. Let's see if we can do it. All right, I'll try to stay behind you with some health. Ah, uh, nice, nice, nice. nice. Let's see if I can do this. Oh, we have a supporter also. I can spam those gas grenades if. Coming, coming. Nice, 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 nice. Don't want to have them on range. I'm gonna go push over here. My guy. Nice, nice, nice. Try to stay in the back hallway. Watch behind. No! Can you get in? Oh man, I'm not sure where you are. Oops. Oh fuck, yeah, I'm coming. I'm coming your way. Oh no, they're behind me! I hear them. Well, I got a few kids though. that I kill people so slowly with this thing. We have lost objective. I die instantly when somebody hits me with this incendiary.
That that uh, gr uh, ammo is great because I can just spam grenades. They just burn here. I need healing here. Ah, oh, they got me eventually.